but we need to move the needle every day. We need to look at the ratios, look at the calls, look at the scripts, listen to their and train so that they are really motivated. If we have somebody in our team, in sales team or marketing team, they are not getting the results that you're expecting and then you blame it to them, find out what are the obstacles. And let's look through those obstacles and sit down. And then when they leave your room or your call or everything, do they feel good about your call and the training you did and the mindset you raised them to? Or do they say, you know what? That was total wastage of one hour. Oh my gosh, that person never heard me. And he just kept on talking and talking and talking. My problem is something different. The worst salesman in the world is one without ears. <laughs> yeah, so true. So true. We should listen. That's why God gave us one mouth, which I'm talking to <laughs> with, <laughs> and the two eyes to look at and two ears to hear. So looking and hearing. And then, of course, we got third eye and fourth eye, right? You know, so we only talking 20% of the 100%. Which is tough for us on a podcast because we have to talk the it entire is. time in order to make the podcast <laughs> successful. So, so in this one scenario, we've got to keep talking. You've got to keep listening. So if you're having a blast uh, learning, <laughs> I'm about to ask Vinny one of those questions that brings up something you will never forget. So Vinny, if we can go back to uh, a time, because you have a lot of amazing teams. You have now it's almost 30 teams that you've invested in, 30 businesses. Yes. In. What yes. is your favorite business that you still run that makes you the most amount of money and which one and of that business who is the employee that you hired or the staff member that you hired that really opened it up or really changed the game for you so it's a two-part question what is the <laughs> your best most cash flowing business for you personally and then who was that hire? Uh, how did you come across them i love it i love it this is so great and again my biggest monies i have made is through syndication that book, Apartment Syndication Made Easy, from $7, little boy coming from India, to over a billion dollar portfolio, AUM, then 1.5 billion, and then limited partner, general partner, almost 2 billion. The key thing is, it's the syndication, the power of helping investors, helping you know, people to really invest with me, with my companies and all, and then increasing their value of the assets and returning money back and all that. One hire, which I can think about always, is my vice president of accounting. She has stayed with me 17 years. Actually, I really owe a lot because she could run the biggest business. <laughs> we just lost Finney. He's saying his vice president of accounting in his syndication business. So where he was raising capital for real estate deals. Now he raises capital for other types of investments. And what he's saying is that the best hire. So what I asked him was, what is your best business of all the businesses you've been in? He's got over 30 businesses right now that he's actively invested in. What is the best one? He said it was syndication. And then I asked him, what was the best hire? And he shared that it was his vice president of accounting. Now, Vinny, you were just sharing about your vice president of accounting and he dropped off for a second. So welcome back. Let me uh, unmute you here, brother. Unmute. Unmute. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just been walking here, you know, in front of my home so that I can, you know, I don't want to go down the slope and come back. I just have a little bit pain in my right knee. So I'm going for MRI next week and everything. Hopefully everything will be fine. I love to walk a lot as so. I just thought I'll walk outside our home then on treadmill and all. No, thank you. So what you're saying is so true. You asked me one employee. Then also at the peak, we had 158 team members, right? I would say we hired people down the line, but one employee who is uh, employee is she's a partner and she invested in my deals and she became a multimillionaire and all that, which I'm so proud. And I gave her bonuses and other stuff. 